Hello lovely people, welcome back to the channel. What I'm going to do are three videos describing the entire project step by step, how to build it. Not necessarily exact instructions, we'll refer back to some of the older videos, but over time we've come up with over 70 videos on this project, so it would be very difficult for newcomers to come in and build the project. So this will be the first introduction to the next series of videos, which again will be three. So the first video will be about the plastics and the mechanics of building Nova and the hardware involved, the bearings and such. The second video will be about all of her electronics components, which will probably be the longest video of the series, where I'll go over all the components. I'll talk about some of the upgrades and changes that we've made along the way, though I'm not gonna focus on that older stuff so much, but there are some things that are optional. So those I'll cover. And then the wiring, I'll go over the wiring very carefully. And at the same time, I'll link to the proper diagrams and schematics and such at the same time, as well as the full parts list. And then the third video will be about the software and the remote. So yeah, this will be the, this is. My battery is sustainably charged at over 11 volts. Thank you, Nova. So yeah, it's gonna be a good little series. I'm gonna try and make them as succinct as possible hopefully hour and a half between the three, four videos at most. Yes, this series of videos hopefully will help you guys who are just starting to build the project especially. Um, so Nova's in a pretty good place right now. Uh, her code is underway. I am working with somebody to maybe incorporate inverse kinematics as a second mode, but for now she's just using the code that I've come up with. which we can make her walk here on the table if I'm careful enough. Ooh, all right, I think that's enough, I'm pushing it. Uh, so yeah, uh, I'm going to still work on the software a little bit in the meantime, but I think these three videos, again, will help you guys out a lot. So a few statistics on her. Yes, this project's been underway for about a year. There have been a lot of changes, a lot of upgrades, a lot of really good upgrades, some of which I'll talk about, but you can refer back to the older videos if you'd like for the real details on the evolution of Nova, let's say. Uh, this will be the final version. The only thing I'll work on further is, is the software and tweaking the sensors a little bit, which again is pretty much all software. Uh, Nova comes in at a total of about 6.8 pounds, I believe the number still is, which yes, caused a few problems with the walking gates as far as momentum and center of gravity and things like that. Uh, print time. That's one of the controversial things of the project, depending obviously on the settings that you use for your printer and such, that could vary greatly. Uh, I really have been prototyping like crazy if you've seen some of my previous videos, so it's hard for me to estimate, but I'm going to have to say at least 100 hours if you really use fine settings for most of your parts, which a lot of the structural ones, in the case of my print here, the black and the purple are the real structural ones, so those should be printed at pretty high print settings, so about 100 hours of that. Um, I tried to estimate to assemble Nova from scratch which again, difficult for me because of the number of changes that have been made along the way. But if I were to take all of her parts and dive in fresh, I would probably say 20 to 30 hours maybe. That doesn't include the remote. This is a project in itself and honestly, more tedious wiring than Novo is at all. So there is optional PS2 remote, but you'll end up back on Nova SM2 and not have the current latest hardware and software because I've stopped support for that. Now, if you know a little bit about coding, you should be able to reincorporate that into the latest version as well. Uh, so another thing I've been asked about is cost. So on Nova's website, I itemized the price, the parts list now. Some things, as a matter of fact, a lot of things, you end up buying in bulk. So these sensors, I think I bought 10 of them instead of the two that I need. Switches, obviously, little plugs and, and hardware especially. So it's difficult to estimate, but I still tried to estimate on a per piece basis what you need for Nova. And minimum, it's about $500. And that's 
not including the remote and not including I've upgraded some of Nova's servos to 35 kilogram servos. So if you go that route, then you're pushing about $600. And then as some of you've seen, I got a pretty nice waterproof case for Nova, which brought me up to around the $750 range. But again, that's component by component. Now it's impossible to buy a single little switch like this, or maybe not impossible, but you'd probably be nuts if you did, because you could buy 20 of them for like five bucks. Um, so taking that into account, yes, your number is going to go up from there as well if you don't have some of these parts in stock already. So it's not a cheap project, not a simple project, and not a, um, not a really novice project, although I've only been in electronics about two and a half years. So anyhow, that all being said, guys, yeah, that's what I have planned. The next video, like I said, will be about the build, the mechanics, the second video about her electronics, and then the third and final video about the software and the remote control. So stay tuned, like, share, and subscribe if you haven't already, and hopefully the next video will be out within a week. Thanks, guys. Take care.